Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial um, on how I made these fabric cover covered badge reels. This is going to be really, really quick because I'm on my way to work. So um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go over the material you would need. You would need some kind of fabric, of course. I purchased this really, really cute fabric yesterday from Hobby Lobby. Uh, you would need badge reels. <clears throat> So I use these ones. I purchased this from Amazon. It was like 50 to a pack, I think for like $25 or something like that. Um, I'll try to leave, link, leave the link in the description below to where I purchased these from. You will also need um, a button kit. So this button kit you can purchase from Joann's. Most local craft stores sell these. This one actually came from Joann's. They have different sizes. This one is um, a size 45, so it's one and one eighth inch in diameter. Um, but I actually purchased my button kit from Amazon, and I got a hundred um, pieces. Well, a hundred buttons, I should say. I think it was like $20, $30. I'm not sure. The button kit also comes with these two pieces right here. This is what's going to help you put it together. You will also need some form of adhesive. You will need scissors to cut your fabric, of course. Mod Podge and your Mod Podge brush. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to do is cut your fabric. So, I already cut my fabric and I cut it. I want to use her face. So I cut it enough so where I have um, extra fabric around there. So when I put it on my button, it doesn't um, mess up the face part because that's the part I want to use for my reel. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your fabric and this piece. You're going to place your fabric down in there like this. Okay. Then you're going to put your button piece on top of it and you just push it down. So you can see how it looks right there you can like I need to readjust mine you can take it out readjust it you can pull the fabric to each side however you, till you get it however you want it so I think I like it just like that so then what you do is you just stuff all your excess fabric down in there you take the back of your button with the um it's only one way you can put it in so the side with the lip the lip part is going to go up you place it on there like this I don't know if you guys can see you place it like that you take your blue piece and you just push it down in there. push the back down in so it's down in there and then you just pop it out so this is what it looks like right now so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little of your Mod Podge and you're just gonna put Mod Podge over it to um, to protect your fabric. I mean, you don't have to do this, but um, I mean, it's fabric. So we all know um, bad drills, they're on and off. So you probably wanna put a little Mod Podge on it to protect it, not a lot, just a little light coat, like so. And then you'll sit that to let it dry. So I already have this one that I did that's already dry. So then what, what you do once it dry, you take your um adhesive. I use the Gorilla Clear Grip glue. And you're going to put a generous amount on the back. You're going to put it on the back. Like so. And then you're going to now... This is your badge reel, so you want to make sure if you have, like like me, I have a face on here, so of course I want it centered. So I'm just going to place it on like that, make sure it's centered on that badge reel, and voila, that's it. Very, very simple, very simple. I have also made earrings using these um buttons. There, it's called a, a cover button kit or flat back button. But um, I made earrings using these with the same concept. I just put the earring post on the back. You can also make these um paper clips, like the jumbo clips for your planner or use as bookmarks, however you choose. So, you guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Make sure you like and share this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.